Welcome to a webinar on eCompass for Observers. eCompass is MPS's online system for registering for professional development, completing professional development plans, and accessing observation information. This summer, a few minor changes were made in eCompass. Today, we will have time to navigate these changes. Today we will cover the following in eCompass. Navigating between teachers, accessing teacher observation plans, and filling out observation forms. At a later date, we will cover generating observation reports in the staff management tab. All observation steps are completed in eCompass. To access the observation module within eCompass, log into eCompass using your district login and password. This is the same as your email login and password. Next, click on the Observation of Others tab. I am now logged in to eCompass as an observer. To access your observations, click on Observations of Others. This will take you to a page that lists all of the teachers you are currently assigned to. To access only teachers in a particular track, Click this down arrow next to all evaluations. This will open up a menu that allows you to select from all of the tracks in your building. I am currently in a test site, so I have access to only test tracks. Test track 1, test track 2, and so forth. When you log in, you will see track 1 through 10. You can also access last year's observations through this menu. Here it says archived evaluations. All of these are observations that took, took place in previous years. If you click on these, it will take you to all of that previous information. I'm going to click into Test Track 2. This page will show me all of the teachers that are in Test Track 2. To access a particular teacher's observations, click on the teacher's name. Once you click into a teacher's name, you can see all of their observations. To access the steps of a particular observation, click anywhere along this bar. Here you can see that there are several steps within the full observation. The first step is a pre-conference guide. To access this step, click on the step title. This year, the pre-conference guide is editable by both the observer and the teacher. This means the teacher does not have to share this form with you before you can access it. It also means that you can add to this during the pre-conference meeting. The teacher will fill this out before the pre-conference meeting and save this. The Auto Create Notes button is still available. This button allows you to click a button and have all the information from the pre-conference form entered into your evidence collection form. To leave the step, click Back. You also have access this year to marking this step complete. To mark the step complete, simply click this little check mark on the right hand side. The step now has a green check next to it. The next step is the collect evidence step. This is the step that you will enter all of your evidence into. This step is the same as last year. To enter your evidence, click enter note. This is the text box you will use to enter your evidence. The same functionality exists within this step. If you would like to separate out your evidence, there are several ways to do this. I will show you two ways. The first way is to highlight the information you would like to separate. So here I have entered in some text. I'm going to Click Save. 
Notice that it tells you when the last time you saved is, and then click Done. If I would like to separate off this first line from this bottom line, all you have to do is highlight the line that you want to separate, release, and then click New Note. This now separated that piece of evidence off. You can then tag the evidence to the element it corresponds to. Finally, click Save and Quit. You now have separated that piece of evidence from the other. The other way you can separate evidence is by enter entering twice between lines of evidence. So I clicked enter twice and then I entered another piece of evidence twice. Okay, and then I'm going to click Save Changes, Done, and then I'm going to click this Split button. Once you click the Split button, it allows you to split different text. So here's the text that I want to split, so I'm going to click the Split button again, and then here you can see that all of the text that I have that I double entered between, I now have a dotted line around that text. So they've been separated into little text boxes. Click the text boxes you want separated into a new note. If you want all of them, simply click Select All. This has now created four separate notes. Once you've completed this, click Enter, and then you can go right in here and tag your evidence. Click Edit and pick the element you would like to tag the evidence to. So here you can see the elements that it's tagged to. Once you are done collecting evidence, click back. You can see that this step no longer has a status symbol, so you do not have to worry about marking this step complete. The next step is the teacher reflection guide. This step is completed by the teacher, and you have view rights. So you can click into this. As you can see, the teacher hasn't entered any information, but you will be able to view this information. The fourth step is the observation evidence and performance levels. This is the same as last year. This is where you'll actually enter the scores. You can also enter evidence in this step. And save it. This is how you navigate between the different domains. To share this form with the teacher once you're ready to share the scores, you can select either share, which is sharing just the evidence with the teacher, or you can share with the rating so the teacher can see the performance level. In order for this to actually share, however, you need to mark this complete. So you select share and then you click mark complete. If, however, you want to go back in and change something, you need to then click Mark in Progress. This will allow you to make additional edits. In order for this step to get marked complete, you need to make sure that you've marked the, com the step complete within the step and that you've also clicked this check mark outside the step on the right hand side. The next step is the observation cycle record. This is the step where you provide feedback to the teacher. So fill out these questions and then when you are done click finalize at the bottom and share at the top. 
you can see that this step has now been shared. One new feature we built into this step is a print template that allows you to see both the observer and teacher scores side by side. Click this button next to the back arrow and it will open up a view that allows you to see the observer's scores and the teacher scores side by side. Once you are done looking at this, you can either print it by downloading the PDF or just simply click Done. In order to mark this step complete, you need to go down here and click the Accept button. The teacher will also have this opportunity to accept or object to the observation. This simply, just, this simply stays on file with their observation. Nothing happens after a teacher has selected one of these options. To mark the step complete, click the check mark on the right hand side. This step is now complete. This observation will show up complete once the teacher has marked their teacher reflection guide complete. You will see that next to the name of the observation, you will see a, a green check mark. The other observations, the focused and the short, have very similar steps to the full observation. The short observation has fewer steps and the focused observation has all of the same steps. The only difference is that the teacher will select their focus elements within this step. Another new feature is this step right here at the bottom called observation summary. This step will allow you to see the teacher's scores throughout the year summarized on one page. Right now there are no scores, but as time goes on you will be able to see scores side by side throughout the year. One of the features we will cover in depth at a later date are observation reports. To access observation reports, click into observations of others, and then on the right hand side you will see this little icon. This is the reporting menu. If you click on this, you have a menu of different reports that you can run, including a report on observation completion and on aggregate element scores. We will go over this in more detail once observations have been completed in the system. If you are curious before then, feel free to check this out. This completes our webinar for how to use eCompass for your observations. Thank you for taking the time to view this webinar. Please do not hesitate to email TE questions if you have any questions throughout the year on how to use eCompass for your observations. Thank you so much and have a great school year.